Today, we're back on the crew to customizing another bike. Yes, what? What is happening here? Why on earth has he become a bike channel? Of course, there's no visual part to begin with, but we can do the vanity and the livery is definitely what I'm looking forward to. So the bikes were added, of course, in the update yesterday and great. <laughs> Whenever I see a Ducati, there's a specific color that I really, really want to see. And I'm hoping that somebody's made it. If not, I'm going to have to give an attempt to myself. It's kind of that matty off-white color that it just looks so good on Ducatis. Now, I will update you on my progress on unlocking the cars. We're very close. In fact, I think today I will unlock one of the cars. So we're going to be doing that over on Twitch as soon as this goes live. So link down below in the description and in the comments if you want to join on that. Ducati, 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 Ducati. That's right. It's Ducati Man Machis today. We've got metallic paints. We ain't after no metallic. We're after a more matte color. Me going for a matte. Can you believe it? We've got the anodized as well and the iridescence as well. I haven't tried the iridescence in a long time, but the matte is pretty much the closest. I'm going to go to the fine tuning because I think it has a bit of a hint of a color in it. So we do need to play around with that. So let's have a play. I think it's, is it more of a blue? Is it safe to say it's more of a blue tint or a ready tint? So I'm going to say it's more of a blue tint. So we're going to add a little bit of color to that just to spruce it up a little bit. I don't want to make it too blue though. Bit aggressive, but it shows the intent. Put it in the blue, bring it down, bring up the brightness as well. Oh, the brightness is what's messing with us a little bit there. I see. So let's go about here. I think that'll do. Perfectly. We have a red underglow ready to go. Beautiful. Yes, indeed. And of course, we got horns, which we didn't actually try last episode. So I want to do that. We got the trap horn, of course, which is my go to. We got the cop sirens, the meows. Mate, and it, which one did we buy? The cheering horn. That's what it was. Let's give it a go. That's kind of terrifying. I'm going to put it on. And of course, what we have left to do is throw on the performance parts for this. So let's put it down to 320 straight away. So I've been informed, of course, now we've waited a little while about how these bikes stack up. So apparently this has, as far as I'm aware, not a great top speed. So we're going to see if that's the case because I, I can tell you on Street Race Smash on the Daily on my Panaga, we're ready. I love the look of these bikes. They look so nice. And this one actually does have brake lights. It does. This one has brake lights. Interesting. So, of course, the other bike that we drove yesterday does not have lights. They decided to put lights on this version of it. But let's bring out the wide camera because the closed camera is honestly for the bikes. It's pretty aggressive. I must say, but look at the speed. This is the perfect place to test the bikes. Damn right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I want to jump into some of the summit events as well on this video because we've oh, we've still only done one of the summit events. It's been crazy. We just got... Oh, nice. We got an extra challenge that I didn't even intend to do. That's beautiful. I have been smashing out the challenges. So speaking of the challenges, I'm going to update you on where we are. So as I said, I will be streaming this once the video goes live. Over to the hobbies. We have done 536 stars out of the 570 on this. Now, I'm hoping that the, I still don't know if I need to do everything to unlock that car, because if so, it's gonna be more of a grind than I thought. We're close though. We've just got to drive some vehicles. Sounds easy. Go over to list it by completion. And we see there's actually still quite a few. One of which requires us to get quite a bit of money where is it it's like yeah so followers for example in a crew that seems easy driving cars driving modern cars the rich get richer i've got to earn 10 million bucks that may take some time now, i'm dying to get my hands on this rx7 but it is going to take a little bit longer than the other one so i have started we're gonna we're gonna smash through it. i'm gonna get it don't you worry you already knew it let's get it pole position summit smashed through we did pretty good on the one event we did yesterday but we can now switch between and play through so currently five days left still and the one million is there playstation is the hardest place i tell you the hardest to smash through these summits let's go baby on my pandagon maybe this will be me maybe on my ducate let's get it though 
I need to... I still go, need to go, freshen go. up my uh, my race suit a little bit. I feel like we should do that before the end. Because I don't... Race suit. It's kind of required. I feel kind of out of place. Or at least the new helmet. The helmet, at the very least. Because uh, this don't look very safe. I wouldn't use an open, <laughs> an open face helmet for my pro bike racing career. Not, not completely advisable, to be honest with you. But... I'm liking the bike so far. It feels nice. I would say... I would say compared to the KTM we drove yesterday, maybe a bit more understeer? Maybe just a slight bit. I think that might be actually the downfall of this bike is... Yeah, it doesn't steer as aggressively. But we aight. We can, we can judge. We know what we're doing. He says as he hits a button, he what? Amazing. Do a wheelie. Nah, no, I don't... I'm not going to risk doing a wheelie on a summit event, okay? <laughs> I would kind of like to get 100k. I did have a little bit of a crash at the beginning, but... It'd be interesting to see how people are actually going to do on the bikes. Because, of course, most people on the crew jump into the cars. The four-wheel mapeels. But me, any chance I get, to be honest, I'll jump on a bike. Because on PvP, you can smash the hell out of the cars on a bike. It's beautiful. Except for the challenges that I've been doing recently that require you to use, I think it's Nissan's the one I'm doing. I'd say the KTM, I find, was a little bit cooler just in the... Here's the thing. Ducati to me is like, man, that's a Ducati. That's pretty damn cool. But when it comes to the KTM, without that... Ugly, I'm going to be real. I don't like the big ugly lights on the KTMs on the front of it. I know that's their design. I don't like it. But... When they then decide to remove the lights because it's a race bike, I think that looked pretty damn dope. I think it looks super slick, super futuristic. This, the sound isn't that great. I think the sound's pretty, uh, pretty flat. I feel like, honestly, I feel like the best sounding bikes are probably from like 2008-ish in terms of like the super bikes. There's something about... Just a little bit older superbikes. 42 seconds ahead. So it clearly can't be that bad, can it? I don't know if this would be my go-to. I still need to try the BMW as well. Let me know if you want me to make some video content on trying that. For three days in a row on bikes? Oh no, that seems a bit cray-cray to me. And across the line, what do we get? That was three minutes ten. How was that though? Give us the points. Tell us how it was. Future. 105k. I'll take it. This is currently the top requirement is to get 100,000 on everything because you get the 100,000 bonus, which should mean we should be all right. All right. Yeah. And now we get to compare the bikes side by side. So the KTM just looks futuristic without the, the light on the front. I don't know if anyone agrees with me, but the Panigale looks good no matter what. I would be interested to see what it's like without the lights, but of course. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> is this on the, it's not on the snow. I was terrified there for ex for it to be another snow race. It's okay. Listen Give it some engine. beams. It's saying, it's saying, shut up, hero, because I'm trying to do a race and you're being annoying. My career is progressed to the point where I am smashing it, so you do not need to interrupt my amazing driving. It's also in the wet, I just realized. It wasn't, was it wet a second ago? I swear, it was dry, wasn't it? There seems to be some kind of clogging in the racetrack, for example. Uh, people are... Very split up. <laughs> Not exactly sure what's going on there, but I'll take it. Maybe it proves that I am the smooth bike machise. Wow, he went from cars to bikes. He can translate his skills. He's a G. Nias. Whoo! <laughs> that was pretty close. Pretty close to the wall there, boy. That's how we do. Close call. <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm very happy with how the bikes handle. I would say this is my go-to camera. I've been playing a lot of the PvP, experiencing the bikes again on the PvP. More so even just the standard street racing bikes. This camera is better. I think I get the idea with the, the closer camera. The closer camera feels too close, though. I wish there was an in-between, because this feels bloody far away. Does it not feel tiny on the damn screen? I think so. But this, I think it's just something about the movement. It feels quite off. So I've got to be a bit more... Uh, I don't know. I feel like I could crash a lot more as he says he goes on the sand. That was the biggest mess up yet. Can we lap everybody? You baboon! Why? Why are you in my way? 
I'm very confused. Where the hell are the others? Are they like halfway around the track already? That's crazy. Why are those people so far ahead? He says he's like a million miles ahead. When, why did I pull up? I just lost a valuable second, maybe, for doing that. Maybe a millisecond. But even still, that could have got me an extra few hundred points. You never know. You never know. 112. That's pretty damn sweet. And finally, as I said, we need a new helmet. We're going to treat ourselves. <clears throat> and finally, as I said, we need a new helmet. And now you get to see my choice of helmet. What 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 type of helmet does the black man Machise decide to go with? I'm a pretty basic man. I like the simple of the simple. I might end just going with that black helmet that you just th saw there for a second. Of course, we can also go for some <laughs> dirt bike style helmets. Interesting. There's not a huge selection, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to be pretty boring. I'm going to go with the basic black one. There he is. It's like the black stick. Amazing. Okay, helmet off. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash like. Let me know if you want to see me do the other BMW bike. And until next time, hopefully, we'll have some uh, spicy new vehicles of four wheels soon. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Until next time, peace.